So as you guys know, Andrew Tate is currently in jail in Romania. And recently, he acquired a new and improved lawyer, one that I think is a lot more competent, a lot more socially savvy than their last lawyer, who I believe was Romanian. So their lawyer has come out and spoken with Piers Morgan, which is a very, very good move. Uh, very good move. And the lawyer seems to be very socially savvy, very competent in, in speaking with the media, speaking with the public. So we're going to see what happens from here on. Apparently, a lot of people are thinking there's going to be a big change with this. So let's see what's going on with Tate's lawyer. Let's see what she has to say. What exactly do Tate will spend the next month behind bars? What exactly do Tate will spend the next month behind bars in Romania after losing the latest appeal against his detention? Tate and his brother Tristan are being held as part of a youth investigation into rape and human trafficking disputes inside court. Andrew Tate says he's done nothing wrong. It's interesting that Andrew says there's not much justice in Romania, considering the fact that Andrew literally claimed to go to Romania because of the fact that Romania was corrupt. And this is the issue a lot of people got to understand. Andrew Tate would have been fine in Romania had he not been talking. I feel, I really feel like what Romania is trying to do, and even academics spoke on this, but I always thought this when it happened. Romania is trying to show Andrew Tate that you are not bigger than the program in any capacity. Romania, the government of Romania is trying to show Andrew and Tristan, you are not bigger than the program. Y'all may be rich. Y'all may have your hands in the pockets of a few politicians in this country, but we own you. And to show you we own you, we're going to lock you up. We're not even going to press charges against you. We're just going to lock you up and say, this is why we're locking you up. But we won't press any official charges. We're going to confiscate your electronics, search them for evidence, confiscate your vehicles, confiscate your money in your house, take everything of value that we can from you, and extend your detainment, your imprisonment for another 30 days. This is what's happening right now. The government is showing Tate, the Romanian government is showing Tate, we can fuck you up if we want to. You don't run this country. You're not in charge. And Andrew sat there and talked about how, well, you know, the reason why I went to Romania is because the laws are more, are more lax and women can't just accuse you of bullshit and get away with it. You know, they need real evidence to get you in trouble. And now we see that that's just not true. When you make yourself a big enough target, there is no need for evidence. All there is, all there needs to be is a need, a need to get your ass up out of here. And that's what's happening right now with Tate. It's just the facts. Lawyer for the Tate brothers, Tina Glandian, who is in Romania. Well, welcome to you, uh, Ms. Glandian. I really appreciate you joining me. Where are we with this case? It seems that Hi, every Pierce. now and again, this pops up back on television with them being remanded for further time. How long can that process continue before a charging decision is made? Under Romanian law, they have up to 180 days, which is in 30-day increments. So every time there's a 30-day detention order, they're allowed to renew their request and have it extended for an additional 30 days, but not to exceed 180 days. Okay. You've taken on this case. Andrew Tate has been repeatedly uh, bellowing his innocence as he's been led in and out of, of these uh, court hearings and so on. Do you believe them? Do you believe that he and his brother are innocent? At this point, Pierce, they've had this investigation going since April. We're now February, and there are not even charges filed against them. So this is a huge injustice the way we wait, see it. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, whoa. So this confirms what I was saying before. There are no official charges actually filed against Andrew Tate, and I'm sure his lawyer of all people would know this. Andrew Tate is currently not being charged with any crimes. Andrew Tate is being detained on suspicion of a crime, but he is not actually being charged with anything. And I think that this kind of, this speaks to what I'm talking about, where this man is not even being formally charged of anything and they've locked him up. This is what I'm talking about when people say, oh, you know, I'm le the, West is a, this, the West is a shithole. The West is the worst. The UK ain't shit, America ain't shit, Canada ain't shit, fuck these, especially when people talk shit about America, I don't understand that. We're gonna go to Romania, we're gonna go to Hungary, we're gonna go to this, we're gonna go to that. 
are y'all really built for this, bro? These countries, bro, there's a reason why a lot of people flee these countries and it just it doesn't have it it, it isn't just war. It isn't just famine. It, it it isn't just poverty. There are genuine laws on the books. There are ways that people handle things in other countries that people just don't like. There are countries where you can you can literally get your hand cut off for stealing. You can literally get your hand cut off for stealing. In the United States of America, that doesn't happen. You get thrown into a jail cell. We give you some time to think about what you've done and then release you. In other countries, you lose. In some other countries in this world, you lose your hand. You lose your hand. In other countries in this world, free speech is not a right under the law. You can be, in fact, arrested. There can be a civil, there can be a, excuse me, a criminal case against you. For saying some shit that you're not allowed to say. In America, that's not allowed. People can dislike you. People can shun you. People can say, well, we don't fuck with that nigga. He be talking crazy. But they can't arrest you. They can fire you. They can blacklist you. They can blackball you. They can no-fly list you. But they cannot arrest you. In other countries, you end up like this nigga. You end up like Tate. You end up like Andrew. This is what happens when you start talking crazy. I'm telling y'all. You can go on and on about Romania this and the East this and the East that. There are Western values that cannot be, you cannot deny the value of some of, of some of these Western values. You cannot deny. You cannot deny the value of these values. You cannot deny the importance of them. You cannot deny the importance of free speech, due process. You cannot deny the fact that Andrew Tate, this would not be able to ha- happen to Andrew Tate in America. There would have to be, gen- there would have to be real charges pressed against him legally like he would literally have to be under some form of an indictment he's not even indicted there are no charges against he's just being detained so in prison specifically so the fact that people you know like andrew sat there and you know spoke about and look i respect andrew but i'm gonna i'm gonna push back against him i'm gonna disagree with him the fact that this man spoke about you know how you know great romania is and this and the third because you know lax laws and i can pay people off and i can do this and i can bend the law to my will and i can bend the world you know to my will now his will is being bent by the romanian government not because they're actually charging him with some sort of formal crime that he really committed they just i guess at this point just don't like this nigga facts let's keep it a stack it's they should not be detained at this point we think it's now crossed over to the point where it's violating international human rights law because the deprivation of, of your li- liberty pre-trial is the most severe form of punishment a state can impose. And that's what they've done in this case. And they've had a very lengthy investigation with the government's resources. They've been uh, analyzing and looked, looking at all of their devices since April when they seized everything. And here we are, February, and charges aren't filed. So I think there's absolutely no evidence that's been presented. And that's our position. What is the, I mean, how are your clients at the moment? How is Andrew Tate dealing with incarceration? I and mean, I interviewed him just before Christmas. We had a long, wide ranging interview. Yes. And once again, I was struck by the phenomenal following that he has online, particularly with young men. You know, he has an enormous following there. You and I know this has been whipped up now by that community into a huge framing of a narrative that this is complete injustice. There are others who think this has been a long time coming that he's a bad human being and that he's going to face very serious charges and that will be the last we see of him. Um, But how is is he faring right now, given that at the moment he's in this limbo land of no charging but being held uh, in incarceration? The brothers are both very strong. They're resilient and they're holding up. But obviously, um, the conditions are not good. They're in a Romanian jail cell and they've been detained for a very lengthy period at this point. They have limited access to their attorneys. Um, it's it's not a good condition for them. You've obviously and, represented a lot of people. And as pe- far as... Sorry, please finish. I was just going to... I was going to say, to your second point... They're controversial public figures, but that's not a crime. And at this point, we have not been provided any proof that they've committed any crimes, nor have they even been charged. So I would ask that people presume them innocent as they are. Do they feel that they are being tried in the court of public opinion? It's crazy that these guys can be, and that's what I'm saying. It's like I was saying before. It's like I was saying before. 
it's nice to talk about all the power that Tate had in Romania when he was a low-key guy that wasn't talking shit. Now that Tate is an extremely famous and public figure with inf inflammatory opinions, people have to, people want him out of here. There's people out there that don't like this guy, and some of them are are powerful. It's just the truth of the matter. It's just the truth. And when you mix in his opinions with his statements about how corrupt Romania is and how good he is at bending the law in Romania, it's of no surprise to me that they're punking him and bullying him the way that they are. Y'all got this nigga detained for 30 plus days and you haven't filed one charge against him and you've been investigating him since April. You've been digging through his computers and everything since April. No charges since April of 2022. It's February. Y'all got two months before it's a full year of a nothing burger. Look, at the end of the day, if, if Andrew's truly guilty, then of course he needs to serve his time for being a human trafficker. But if there's no evidence, no nothing, and this is just accusations, this is just sick. This is disgusting. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I, I genuinely, truly do believe that people are allowing their opinions of Andrew Tate to supersede their better judgment. I truly believe that. People are allowing their opinion of this guy to supersede their better judgment. And that's what's happening here. I think I think the public is divided, as you know. I think they have a big following, but at the end of the day, yes, I think there is a lot of information in the public. I think there's a lot of false allegations in the public. I think some evidence has now been put forth. Again, I don't want to comment too much on the facts of the case since there is an ongoing criminal investigation. However, I think there has been evidence put out, um, videos and other statements for the public to see what the uh, supposed state of the evidence actually is. It's been interesting to watch Andrew Tate's Twitter feed in particular, that he's continued to tweet. Is he doing that himself? Has he got people doing that for him? And how do you feel from a legal point of view? Is it, is it a wise tactic to continue to do that on social media when you're being held in custody by the Romanian authorities? Well, again, he doesn't have access, so he's not doing anything directly. And what's being put out is is on his accounts. And I'm not going to speak as to, you know, the source of, of the posts and what's being put out. But I think, again, as of now, he's not charged with anything and uh, he's free to comment publicly if he wishes to. Yeah, they've obviously, we know that they seized uh, nearly three and a half million pounds in cash, 11 luxury sports cars, guns, and other weapons. Are any of the things that have been seized from the property, are they in themselves acts of law-breaking, just the possession of any of these things? To my knowledge, they're not. I think if they were, they would have been charged with crimes. Again, they, they had the initial search in April, and it's February. It's been 10 months, and no charges have been filed whatsoever. We have an ongoing criminal investigation for which this is a preventative detention, which is why they're in custody. Again, this is the most severe form of punishment. I don't think it's justified under these circumstances where the prosecution hasn't set forth ev enough evidence to charge them, and yet they are detained uh, and it's being prolonged. But you do accept, of course, that if the women who've come forward here as part of the investigation, if they're telling the truth, these are very serious allegations against your clients which could lead to charging and if they led to charging could lead potentially to long prison sentences if found guilty certainly the the crimes that issue are very serious crimes and i think pierce actually it was on your show when you interviewed tate several months ago he made very strong statements about his position on rape and he condemned rape and he said it was disgusting was I'm pretty sure the word he used and he said he thought that somebody who does that deserves the death penalty so there's no question that these are serious charges and even in his own words they're very serious charges there just isn't any evidence that they committed these crimes but you know we've also had tapes which have emerged in the last few weeks of him talking about rape to a woman in a pretty unsavory manner so what is I'm your sorry. response to that can you I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. You said what surfaced? So there have been various tapes have surfaced in part of media investigations in the last few weeks, including Andrew Tate talking about rape to a woman in a pretty unsavory manner. So what would your reaction be so, to, to that? First of all, I think the authenticity of anything that 
So here's the thing. Just because the crimes that they're being accused of are insanely serious does not mean that Andrew and Tristan are automatically guilty. Like, this lady can defend her client. Like, why does she have to sit? Like, we all understand that these crimes are incredibly damning and evil and disgusting. I don't think the severity of the crime all of a sudden makes the accusation more justified or adds truth to the accusation. You know? Like, I don't, like, I don't know. I see the angle he's trying to take here, but I'm not really rocking with it. I'm not rocking with his angle here. Is presented through the media as opposed to turned over to the defense it needs to be questioned because material is edited and it's, it's easily manipulated. So first, I would say that. Secondly, I don't think certain text messages, um, you know, there are, I'm not here to judge or to talk to people's desires or fetishes, but certainly somebody could easily set someone up by saying they like, they have certain fantasies, they want certain things done to them or said to them. And so there's a lot that goes into, you can't take a text message out of context. You first have to know, uh, first of all, the entire context of it and what the background is. There needs to be explanation. So I think uh, you have to keep all of that in mind when you're, seeing something in the media we do i saw those text messages and it's very very clear that it was a consensual agreement very very clear that it was some sort of a of, of a weird fetish but consensual nonetheless so it's it's interesting that people are bringing those things up as if it's evidence it's it, it's like there's no official evidence against this guy we're just relying on hearsay and ridiculous like you know, weird text messages. I'll admit the text messages were crazy. They were weird. I'm not going to sit there and act like they weren't crazy. I won't I won't act like they're not crazy, but I'm not going to sit there and act like it's damning evidence against Tate. And we have to keep in mind also the judge's reasoning uh, for all this. They explained on the 20th of January that they viewed the particular dangerousness of the defendants and their capacity to identify victims with increased vulnerability in search of better life opportunities. So all of this has to be taken into account. Uh, but it goes on, and as you rightly say... The so the judge didn't say that Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate were holding them against their will, but that they were deceiving them with promises for better life opportunities. It goes on, and as you rightly say, at the moment, there have been no charges. So all of this has to be in search of better life by victims with increased vulnerability in search of better life opportunities and their capacity to the particular dangerousness of the defense so these guys are being accused of genuinely trafficking women they're not being accused of genuinely holding women against their will and enslaving them they're being accused of convincing women to do a job that's sexual in nature and with promise of a better lifestyle i mean I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you're a grown adult and you make a decision then that's on you or am I just wrong? I'm I'm sure that in, in Europe the laws are different, which is why when Tate was bragging about like Romania, this Romania, that I just had this feeling like this is gonna come back to bite him because Europe is so much softer on shit like this than the United States. It's crazy. Like <laughs> Tate, hopefully, hopefully he's not in for a rude awakening. I'm hoping he's not and their capacity to identify victims with increased vulnerability in search of better life opportunities. So all of this has to be taken into account. Uh, but it goes on, and as you rightly say, at the moment, there have been no charges against your clients. And until or if that point Correct. arrives, we're in a world of allegation, not actual charges. Correct. And right now, exactly, there's a presumption of innocence to and that every accused has and that attaches from the time you're even charged and here we're not even there they haven't even charged them with crimes so any sort of comments as to the, their alleged dangerousness there's no there's no evidence of that there isn't even a presumption of that they need to be presumed innocent and that's that hasn't happened in this case there's really a lack of evidence and they are being detained unlawfully at this point tina glendian i appreciate you joining me thank you very much indeed Thank you, Pierce. Lesson needs to be learned here. That just because a place isn't America, it, that doesn't make it better inherently. Like the idea that somehow you're, you're somewhere else. You got to actually ask yourself about the laws of these different countries and are you willing to follow them? Are you willing to follow those laws? It's no different from living in a certain state. Don't move to New York City if you know you want to carry a handgun on you. Don't move. You know that you're not like, bro, like, 
Y'all got to actually ask yourself about the rights that you will be entitled to when you move somewhere else. It's not just about the, the views, the, 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 the sites. There's more to living somewhere else than just what you can see and the, the environment, the culture. There's genuine laws and practices at work that you need to take into account. So that's what I learned from this. Hopefully, if Andrew Tate's innocent, he gets out of this one. Hopefully, they release him since they clearly have no evidence against him as of right now. And, you know, I wish him all the best. You know, and hopefully he's innocent. I feel bad for him, but this is what happens, bro. When you when you start thinking you're bigger than the program and you start and you start uh pissing off the wrong people, these kinds of things will happen. So it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.